morning, nomads. We're on the road, we're heading south. Heading south today. Don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna see. Make this up as we go. Had an interesting thing happen to me last night, right here, parked right here next to this Starbucks in Newport. What had happened was I was sitting at the table. I was on the laptop editing some video together. And all of a sudden, my door latch was trying to be opened. You know, I was just, all I had to do was get up and go to the door real quick, so I decided to, to, to do that. Stood up, went to the door, unlocked it, opened it up, then, uh, the guy's still standing there, his girlfriend's off to the side, and he's obviously just piss-ass drunk. And he says, Oh man, uh, uh, can I use your bathroom? No, you cannot use my bathroom. I don't have a public bathroom. And besides, you better be careful. You do, you do not just go up to somebody's house or vehicle and start opening doors. Even if it's an emergency, an absolute emergency, you still knock first before you try to gain access into that place. Shocking, amazing. What a really weird thing to happen. I'm never gonna be able to make a left-hand turn right there, so I'm just gonna go down here and flip a Yui. There we go. Now we're going the right direction. So. Feels good to be back behind the wheel though. Here we go. It's not raining, so you can't complain about that. It says, uh, no overnight parking. Again, I wouldn't test that. I mean, it's noisy, it's on the highway. There's plenty of other places to boondock. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just gorgeous. guys think it's pretty nice huh
All right, well, this is the uh, Devil's Churn in the Susla National Forest. And we're gonna go check it out. This is the Devil's Churn Loop Trail. We'll go for a little walk here. Side. Okay, come on. Come here, Jax. Come on. Yeah, come on. Hop ups. Come here. That's yuckies. Come here. Yeah, hop up. Come here. Good boy. Meow. Oh man. <laughs> Happy guy, no rain. No rain, buddy. Yay. <laughs> so howdy guys. I don't often pay for overnight accommodations. It's a it's a rarity. Sometimes at most, uh, like I said, once a week. Um, when you need water, when you have to dump your tanks, you know, you start factoring some of those costs to find those facilities and sometimes $28 a night in a nice Nice campground is can be really nice. So that's what I'm doing here. This full hookups here at not even sure what it's called. But water and electricity right there and a dump station on the way out tomorrow. So we're good to go. Over there. Get up, Jax. Get up, kitty. Get up. <laughs> Okay, it's the Carl G. Washburn Memorial Campground. That's what this place is called. There's a little loop over there. And then the trails go even higher up there, but I found a nice level spot right here, so I'm happy. I already fed you, buddy. It's my turn. I got the oven on right now. I'm gonna make some dinner here, and then maybe go explore a little bit more tomorrow, but um, I just need to relax today. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to chillax. 
since I'm plugged into power, I don't care about electricity. I'm turning, got all the lights on in here. So anyway, you guys have a great day and I will see you in a couple days. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.